What's the deal guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to install some shingles, not just any shingles, some Owens Corning Woodmore shingles. All right, so step one, we're going to do drip. Uh, why do we call it drip metal? Because it drips into the gutters. Uh, it's also a one by three. So one inch goes into the gutter, three inches goes up on the roof. Okay, so what I like to do is I, I, I like to work on my left knee and I like to, I like to put, put my right knee behind this foot. You kind of go like that and you don't slide off the roof. See that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a couple feet back, uh, cut a little bit off of this, because that way it will have room to move. Otherwise, if you bent it like that, it would have no room. This would be hitting that and you'd only, you wouldn't get 90 degrees. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and stick this in the corner over here. So what I like to do is give a nice inch right here. See how it gives a nice for the gutter guys to do that. So once you get a nice inch, we do put a nail in it. And I wanna look to make sure that before you start nailing it, I wanna make sure that there's more, um, all this is lined up nice and square. All right, the reason why I didn't, I don't like to cut in the middle where I start is because if you cut too much, this side will bend over. So let it dangle there while it get while you get a chance to come over to the other side, right, right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, what we're gonna do is put a nail. That way we know it's flush. So if we hold on to it. Again, we put our finger behind here, so the gutters have a little bit of room, and we pop a nail in there. And then every eight inches. We're gonna put nail. Come back over to this section, and again, you take your finger right here, you nail it right in the corner, and now you continue to nail eight inches. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and nail this down a little bit with our hammer. Okay, now we're just gonna pop a nail in there. See, sometimes you gotta take a little bit of nails to get some bite. Those two were missing, that last one got it, and the gutter guy can still get his gutter behind there. So we're good to go right there. So we want about a six inch lap down here. See at the bottom, guys? Put a nail in that, put a nail here, bam. Every eight inches. Bada bam, bada boom. Step two, we're going to do weather lock G. So a lot of people ask us why we're using Weatherlock G. It's a sticky membrane that we like to put down the valleys. And the reason why we like to put it down the valleys is because it's for snow and ice up here in the mountains. I think, again, I don't, I don't know if we're 500 or 1,000 feet, but we do get a little bit snow here in the Seattle area. So we're gonna go ahead and run this down the valley. Um, let me show you guys how to do that. All right, when you guys put this stuff down in the valley, make sure to go past the ridge a little bit and I like to pull back one corner at a time. Take out your tacker hammer and so after you put that in the corner, it's pretty simple. Roll it on down and roll it past the valley. I back roll it back, take it and so now, now that you guys have it cut a little past the valley, you find the center of it, find the center of the valley, which is right about there and you peel off the other corner and you push down in the valley and you put a couple staples, okay? And you take it and you pull it up. Take this stuff and you lay it down here. Now, once you lay it flat, let me show you guys over here where you cut it at. Cause if you lay it here, look at that bubble. See how it bubbles up? So you always want to cut it up Find the ridge and cut it straight up. That way when you go over, see it? So I like to, then you cut it. Take your hook blade in there, piece of the plastic, and we just make sure we're still centered. And we just simply pull it up. Now when you're pulling this stuff, I like to gather it up. That way it doesn't make a big old huge mess. Just throw it in the dumpster. Boom. You like that? Now, come over here and check this out. 
So you can't just fold this over. You see that big bump right there, guys? See that? What you do is you find the center of the valley and cut straight up. Now look at that. See how left flat that lays? Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this out, follow the center of it. See that down here? See that, guys? Pull that the other side off. And bada bam, bada boom, just put your foot right in the center and walk up the valley, laying it nice and tight in there. See that? Boom. Step three, deck defense. All right, here in step three, we're gonna teach you guys all the basics and some pro tips on how to install Owens Corning deck defense. This is underlayment. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys, it's pretty simple. What I like to do is come down here and I like to go, we always go over the top of the metal and I like to go a, a little bit out. So I always put my, about a, about a knuckle out over the drip metal. Then what we do is we place, we place a couple staples in the center. Then we roll it out, it's pretty simple. We roll it out and then we check ourselves again. We don't want to roll it out too far. Okay, roll it, roll it out, boom, right there. That's our knuckle. We roll it out a little bit further. And boom, there's our knuckle. Okay, now when you get to the end, it's pretty simple. You're just going to overlap it across the other side of the hip and then just cut down the, the hip a couple inches. Pretty simple, guys. And I like to use my snip. Some people will use a knife. See that? It's that easy. Now, I like to take this roll. So make sure you take this tacker and you staple the top of that, okay? Now you line it up with the bottom of the pink line and you make sure you get your overlap and that's why we cut it at an angle because then we don't waste much paper. Now, we hit the center of it and when I'm rolling back, don't walk on the paper until you, until you uh, staple the top of it. If you don't staple the top of it, I'll show you what'll happen, watch. You could be walking on it and see, it'll slide out underneath you and you'll fall off the roof. But I'll show you guys what I do. Okay, so as I'm rolling it, you take your tacker, a little pro tip, you speed it up, see? All on one step, see that how easy that is? And when you're cutting the valley, you do the same thing. You roll this up, up the valley. You wanna go at least four or five inches out of the valley, and then you take it, and you cut up the valley. See that? Now it's overlapping inside of the valley. You kind of want to roll this out a little bit so you know you're straight. Come back, put a couple staples in the center. And again, when I roll out, I'm going to re-tack the top of the paper. paper. Make sure you guys tack the top of the paper. I can't stress how many times I've seen people slide off or rip it. So look. See how easy that is? Look at that. And I'm showing you guys how to do it. If I was rocking and rolling, we could do this a lot quicker, but roll it over, over the ridge, come up. You guys see what we do on this? Look, we go over the ridge, and then we cut up. And remember right here, we cut, we wanna, we can't have it bunched up, see that? So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right to the top of the ridge. Easy does it. Bam. Now we can take this, fold it over, roll it over here on that side, stay. Stay. All right. Now come look down this line. Come over here and look down this line. So now we can adjust it down. See? See, now it's on the line. See that? Nice and straight. We're gonna first start right here, overlap and at the top so we don't fall off the roof. 
Now we have to make sure that we secure all the perimeters. If the wind comes up, this stuff will blow up. So what we have to do is we have to tack the bottoms. And that's how you guys do step three, install deck defense. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to blast this on because we're running out of daylight. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna show you guys step four. Okay. All right, guys, it is the next day out here and it's time to do step four, starter shingles. So let me show you guys how to install some starter shingles. Now, follow me over here for the starter shingles. We have more starter shingles? We don't have any more starter shingles. So, uh, you know what, let me go see if, <laughs> that's terrible, but let me go see if I can find um, where the starter shingle's at and we're gonna have to go run and go get some starter shingles, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, once you put this, once you find the center of the bottom and the center of the top of the valley, you're gonna wanna. This is a tricky valley right here, but you wanna. I like to scribe the center of this, so I'm gonna follow this line of the all the way over and then I'm gonna follow the line of this all the way over which is it intersects right here it goes something like that and we're gonna play with this and we're gonna cut this area off right here looks pretty good guys so since we don't have starter guys we're gonna kind of fake it to see exactly where we need to go and what you're gonna do is you're gonna we're gonna have to put a first course down here so really it's gonna go like this pretend this is starter your shingle your wood more is gonna look like this and this is gonna come down here like that and then this will run off the wood more shingle and go down here because the valley's a little tricky so it's good this is a really tricky one guys but on the other one we'll show you guys a different way but this one's this is going to over because you have a you have a ridge coming down into the valley but this is going to overset overlap that we're going to put some caulking all over here so it doesn't leak and then we'll be good to go so just check it out Nail this, nail up one side at a time. I'm gonna put one there, because I don't want it to shift. Make sure it's nice and flat when you do this. And then I'm gonna make my cut. That way this, now this metal won't shift anymore. I know it's straight. Cut it over the ridge and straight up. Take the top, bend it up a little bit. Make sure it's nice and flat right here. One there. Now here's the trick. You want to go over the ridge, and I like to start right here in the valley. See, you can kind of bend it over in here. Because when we start pounding on this, it'll want to pull up, and more nails down here. With your hammer, light ever so lightly. See how it starts bending right here? You're going to take that bend all the way down right here. See that? How look? See that? Nice straight cut, bent over perfectly, and then uh, sixes. So the next step is step six, installing shingles. So since we don't have starter, we're gonna go ahead and nail high. Maybe just a couple of nails to keep it in place. And we're gonna go ahead and come back and nail those. But for now, we gotta keep on moving forward. So on these, they, on each single, they have a little cut, a little slot. 
See that little slot right there that Woodmore owns? Corny makes it real easy for everybody to know exactly where it is. See that slot? But you go like that and you nail it. Now, when you're nailing, you don't want to nail too deep or not deep enough. You want to keep it nice and square. Don't blow through. You keep your notch. Put your shingle right there. You put your shingle on there. Again, line this shingle up right here, square it up, make sure the tops are square, make sure, look down it, and then you just... You guys need to put five nails in the wood more, so look. One, two, three, four. If you guys nail like that, see how it's not on the line? Pop another nail in it. Not a big deal. All right. Yeah, you can find the, find the line. See that, how it nestles in there? Put a nail in it. Come over here. Drop it a little bit. One nail. Two, three, four, five. All right, guys. So when you guys cut the end of this with the wood more shingle, you can't reuse, when you cut this off right here, you can't reuse this. So you have to use the factory edge, always on the right side, whether it's in a valley or the rake. In this case, we're gonna take these pieces over there so we don't waste a bunch and take them over to the valley. So I gathered them up right here. Let's go ahead and take these over and find exact, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, now that we're here in the valley, it's really important that you don't waste, see? See, that would actually work. So let's go ahead and put that one in here. When I go to the valley, I like to make sure that your paper straight first of all. When you're installing this, you want to make sure it's straight with the ridge. So this looks really straight. I'm going to go ahead and give that a go. Now this is the center valley. You don't want to nail eight inches minimum. So I'm going to keep my nails up here. See that? Eight inches out of the valley. Eight inches in the center of the valley. Up. If you come look at this, you don't want any nails this side of it about eight inches. Make sure it's straight. So I can tell by the wording right here, it's about a quarter inch from the wording here, and it's about a quarter inch from here, so I know that's straight, so. You just line them up, and now we're back here to the top of the shingle. So now we can go ahead and continue this up, and then I'll grab the, uh, the, the other shingles from the hip, then bring them over here to the valley. hips. All right, what I like to do is take a couple of these first. You kind of get your line. Always snap the hip because people see this. You want a nice straight line. It's, an, it's really, really hard, if not impossible, to get a perfect line. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to... And the reason why I didn't start at the bottom is because we still need to come back with starters. So we're going to go ahead and put that. You take your, your chalk line, you hook it on this piece and wrap it up the other side. Pretty simple. Wrap it up, follow it up. Last one. Then, zip and they stop it. See that? Line it up with that. And the bottom of it goes right there at this little corner. Just past the tar line, watch, watch, right there, see that? Four nails, one, two, three, four, okay? You just do this all the way up. Oh, ridge vent, vent shore. All right, now it's time for putting on ridge vent. Now, you, we already did cut out 
the framers already did do an inch on each side. Now you simply have to roll your ridge vent out, whatever you may have, find the middle of the ridge and bend over that. So you put one nail here, Let's go all the way down to the end. Find the center, drop it in there. About an inch up, you're gonna nail it. So what you do is you take this, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a piece of starter over. Always take this end cap and you put it in here, it even says on it, do not discard. So what you do with this stuff is you put it in there, that way bugs can't get up there and block all of your intake ventilation. Otherwise, you have no intake ventilation. So you put it in there, you put it down, and then you just go ahead and nail it together. Okay. Now, you take your starter piece. Charlie, you'll be proud of me if you're watching from Owens Corning. He taught me this one. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hand nail these in. If you look, these are not your average nails. These nails will not fit in the gun. That's why you need the long nails to go through all of this, all of this, and you need a bite in the wood. So I realized that when I was putting those in, I was like, wait, where, where's the nails at? See, look, you'll feel it, see that? I can just instantly feel it right about there. Look at that, now it's tight. Now, for your first shingle, you're gonna go ahead and line it up. And then, you're gonna put your nail in it. Now with this, we don't have to chalk a line because we already know where our line is. Now you just line this up with the vent. Make sure you guys are hand nailing these in because they are super long, especially when you guys have wood more shingles below it. Otherwise it would not bite into anything. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and just put two nails in it because I'm hand nailing it. I know it's good, I know it's solid. And you just keep on putting this nail in. Again, I like to put it about an inch up right inside of the tar line and you just hammer it down there and it's tedious work but it's the right way to do it hand, hand nail it in so we're going to go ahead and show you a couple more go ahead and show you a couple more before i just take off again one inch up right in the tar line take out your trusty hammer and you just bang it right into the plywood right well you guys see how we showed you how to put four shingles on of step nine which is installing the ridge um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and finish this off while you guys enjoy some b-roll go ahead and cue it man hey thanks for watching guys make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell that way you guys don't miss any more videos